what's up and welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video in today's video we're doing a dupe okay we are comparing two eyeshadow palettes that are almost identical so it's the Huda Beauty neon obsession palette and I am so excited one costs thirty dollars and one is five dollars at five below so if you are excited to see my thoughts and my opinions and which eye is which which palette is which how does it work then go ahead and keep watching all right so I've already got my lipstick and everything else on so we're gonna get into this look so like I said in the intro basically what I'm doing is I am reviewing this $5 W7 5 below palette to the $30 Huda Beauty neon obsession so I mean they look identical they look like first let's let's talk about that so I got this in the 5 below one in my 5 below haul that I did recently which I'll put up here for you guys it looks it looks good but will it perform as good look at that like if I were to hide these I don't even know that I would be able to choose what now I can tell by the plastic so this one is smaller you can see that so you get nine colors in each one this one has no mirror it's see-through it's very lightweight this one has a mirror it is heavy duty it is a lot more pretty looking if that is a thing like, I mean they're both neon but like I feel like this is just kind of like more aesthetically pleasing that really doesn't matter to most people I'm just trying to like give you guys like the deets so they both have a back <laughs> <laughs> Look at sh they both have a back in case anyone's curious. Stop it. Get some help. And they are, I believe, in the same exact order. They are both in the same exact order. Now some dupes, like, you know how they'll kind of like switch them up. These like are identically placed. And today on my lips, if anyone is wondering, I am wearing fake love. It is the Velvet Blur by ColourPop. Have not worn me a hot pink lipstick in forever so we're gonna get into it i'm gonna set my eyes first and foremost per the use and i am using the master eye prep set jacqueline jacqueline hill jacqueline cosmetic she's launching a prep and set set for like your under eyes etc and i believe there's a baking powder and an under eye primer and i'm gonna get it for sure but i just like as soon as i heard prep and set I thought Mario, his, because I use this all the time. And then I thought Mac. And then I was like, well, what's happening? So I'm excited to try it, but at the same time, I was just like, I don't, I just thought of a different company as like looking at her stuff. Like I didn't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna go into this purple on each, on each one. And I'm gonna place it. So this side will be the dupe. This side will be the Huda palette. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do like a halo eye, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So right now I'm just gonna be placing that color on my inner corner over to the middle. Woo! All right, so I'm gonna move this brush. I'm not gonna use the same brush. So I'm going into that same color from the W7 palette, but I'm gonna be using this mirror. Okay, we're gonna just... <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute now. We don't know. We, we don't, it could... Mm. I don't want to say anything too soon, but all I'm saying is, mm, Huda, Five Below is coming for you. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the um, dupe one. The dupe dupe. And I'm just building that color to basically be over almost to the middle and up. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I am not gonna lie. This has me a little shook. So now I'm gonna do the outer corner and I'm going in with the Huda one. I'm going in and doing the outer corner and meeting it in the middle. And I know it looks harsh. I'm gonna blend out color with a different color. God, this is such a beautiful color. It's such a beautiful palette, honestly. If I'm being honest, it's one of my favorite obsessions palettes. I'm kind of excited and I won't lie to you guys because they have a lot of her dupes there. So like, this is not the only one that they have that's a dupe. I'm kind, I'm kind of excited. So I'm going into the fake one just to do that outer corner as well. Oh my god. That color though. Like why is it so good? 
we'll see how the blending goes because the problem is right now I'm just packing color so it looks nice but like how is blending gonna go for the Huda eye I'm gonna be going in with this pink color right here and I'm gonna start to blend those colors out blend it out nicely I think instead of pink because it's that lighter pink is just kind of blending in with the purple pink I'm gonna go in with this peachy color and I'm gonna lay that down like the orangey peach color because that other one is just it's not really blending it it just looks like I'm raising the pink and purple color up more and more and more I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this one just to blend it out like I did this one and then go in with that orange one because I don't want to make it unfair so I have to do everything exactly the same and I just did a little light blending. Now here comes the I'm a cheap palette situation. We don't want to blend. Okay. All right, so now I'm going in with that orange, that orangey, like salmony pink color. Orangey salmony. I don't like the salmony orangey color. This color. This looks real orange. And if you mess up here like I did, it's fine. We just put, we're just putting primer over it anyways. So I did bring the orange color down a little bit more here and I kind of like it. So I'm going to do it on the other side as well. I will say that this orange one though with the dupe palette has a little bit more pigment to the orange color, which I find to be so strange. So I'm going back in with the actual Huda one and getting more color over here. So I'm going back in with the Huda palette and just placing some more of that pink along where I had it and where it may have just kind of flaked a little. I feel like this has gotten out of hand. <laughs> this is 100% gotten out of hand because this is not as crazy as I meant to do it. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my Hourglass. This is the Veil Primer. I'm going to squeeze some out here on my tray. Also, I finally did my nails after months and months of letting them grow back out. So I do my own gel nails now. I stopped getting them done at a shop just because like it saves me money and I'm gonna put this in the center and pull it up a little bit I wanted up investing in a professional drill now that's pretty cool it works 110 percent <laughs> but <laughs> I drilled my nails so far and so bad that they were so thin it hurt so I had to let them grow out before I could do anything else to my nails file them I didn't do anything for months so the color I'm going in with is going to be this lime green shimmer color so this palette really doesn't show any shimmer but the Huda one you can definitely see there is a shimmer there so I'm excited for that but this is where I think the dupe is going to give me issues so I'm going in with a flat packing brush on the not high end it's kind of coming off as like a topper I wonder if I use my finger I'm gonna try to use my finger so it's actually it is actually really shiny and it is giving me some like shiny luminous vibes but it's definitely more of like a topper situation so I had to use like my finger to really get it to lay and don't worry about it we're gonna clean it up we're gonna clean it. I know it always looks messy but I'm loving this vibe okay, so we're gonna first go in with a brush with the Huda palette and see if oh god so the Huda palette gave me more fallout I'm not gonna lie but it definitely applies much better with a brush and you could probably do this way to avoid any fallout whatsoever so I'm able to do this one with a brush where uh, the other one, I had to use my finger. The brush wasn't doing it. But I'm going to go in with my finger to see. Yeah. <laughs> so this is definitely shiny. It's definitely doable. But this is like, uh, you know what I mean? Like it's Huda beauty quality. So I'm going in with the Huda palette. And I'm going to take that dark purple. But this time I'm going to take it on a blending brush. Oop. And I'm just going to blend the edges of this green. So it looks just a little bit less harsh. So I'm going to do the same thing with the dupey dupe. I think I went too crazy with the pink. I think I did. So you can definitely see that this is a lot more sheer than the Huda one. I will tell you that. Like, this is nice. It's not bad. A shimmer... It has to be done so nice and so perfect for that color to really shine. Now what color are we going to do for the under eye? Because I feel like if 
I do any more pink, it's going to be ridiculous, but I don't really feel like I have a choice. So we're going to go in with that purple for the under eye. So two pencil brushes here. Unfortunately, I don't have identical ones, but they're very similar in both from Morphe. I'm going to go in with this one with the Huda palette, and I'm going to go in with that dark purple. I'm just putting the purple across. And then I'm going to put the shimmer in the middle and I might, I might do a little blending with that orangey color. I'm not certain yet. So I'm going in now with the dupe. I will tell you, it does not have a lot of fallout. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the brush for the Huda one and I'm going to put it right in the center. But just like right over that color. And the reason that I put this over the pink and not like putting the primer down etc is because it will automatically kind of blend it on its own and we don't need it to be as harsh as the upper eye so i will say that the huda one applies better with a brush i will say the huda palette has a lot of shimmer fallout though i don't know why yeah i got a lot of glitter under here and like one or two specks under the dupe this is a 30 dollar palette and yeah, it's giving more pigment, but it's also causing a little bit more fallout. Oh. Alright, so now that I have that one, I'm going to go in with my mascara. So basically, the next step... Oh, I forgot my inner corner. I don't have any colors that I feel like I'm going to put on the inner corner. So I think I'm going to go in with my highlighting palette that I used today and just place one of those in there. Probably just like this light pinky poppy color. Mm, yep. Yes. All right, so I'm going to hop off camera, put my lashes on, and then I will be right back for my final thoughts. All right, guys, so that is it for my video. I will have to say this W7 palette is 110% a dupe for the Neon Obsession. So if you don't want to spend $30 on this palette, I think that this $5 palette is going to do just fine. There were some differences when it comes to, like, the shimmer, but the mattes blew me away with how pigmented they are. It had like no fallout at all where Huda did have a little bit of fallout. I felt like it really kept up with Huda and I might be a little crazy but it actually looks a little bit more pigmented than Huda's but I think that when it comes down to it these two are so comparable it's scary okay except that the huda shimmers are a little bit more bright and they're also easier to use with a brush where this one the w7 palette i did have to apply with the finger and it is a little more sheer but for a 25 dollars difference it ain't that sheer like this is good this is really really good I 110% condone this. I 110% tell you, go get it. If you don't have a five below near you, it's fine. I just found out they actually shop. You can shop online. You can shop online. You can shop online. I had no idea that five below did shopping online until like last week. So if you don't have a five below near you, check out their website, see if they have it on there and get it. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. This was $4.95 maybe. So it was not even $5. If you had no idea, would you know there's a difference? Comment down below and let me know. Honestly, 100%. If you had no idea that this was two different palettes, would you know? Would you know if I didn't tell you? So I hope you guys like this video. As always, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.